You've seen Shunyun ads literally everywhere. But why is the CCP trying so desperately to shut it down? Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. During COVID, the Chinese Communist Party was all over the hashtag Stop Asian Hate. State media kept putting out articles about how U.S. society had unleashed anti-Asian hate. How much work remains to tackle anti-Asian racism. And how there was so much deep-rooted racism that the U.S. probably wouldn't be able to get rid of it. Maybe next time the Chinese military sends a bunch of warplanes near Taiwan, Taiwan should hold up a sign saying stop Asian hate. Because apparently it's a different story when the hate is aimed at the CCP's enemies, like Shen Yun, a New York-based performing arts company that promotes Chinese culture. Shen Yun has become somewhat of a meme. Their ads are everywhere. The other day I opened up a box of Lucky Charms and out came China before communism. That might give you a clue to why the Chinese Communist Party has been trying to shut down Shen Yun. The CCP will do things like write letters to theaters and politicians to try to get them to cancel the show. Yes, they're literally trying to keep people from dancing. The CCP has gone from the realm of real life evil to John Lithgow and Footloose evil. That's one step away from becoming Disney evil. The CCP has also paid for inserts in mainstream media that bash Shen Yun calling it a blasphemy that masquerades as art. Which is pretty ironic considering the Chinese Communist Party is officially atheist. If you don't believe in God, what do you consider blasphemy? Criticizing the God of communism? Also, blasphemy that masquerades as art? Sounds awesome. If you described a band that way, I'd say, heck yeah, metal. See you in the mosh pit. Don't do that at Shen Yun. The Lincoln Center doesn't like that. Don't ask me how I know. The CCP has used a variety of tactics to target Shen Yun, from slashing bus tires to spreading rumors they all had COVID. Organizers now believe China is trying to smear their image and spread false information about the coronavirus, saying the performer, performers and crew have it or have traveled to infected countries. I can see why people might have believed that. I mean, if anyone was an expert on irresponsibly spreading COVID around the world, it's definitely China. The other big reason the CCP doesn't like Shen Yun is because, according to their website, Shen Yun Performing Arts was established by Falun Dafa practitioners in 2006. That's another name for Falun Gong, the spiritual practice that became widely popular in China in the 90s before a large-scale crackdown gave them a taste of China after communism. And now the Falun Dafa Information Center has put out a new report about the war the CCP has been waging against Shen Yun. And some of what the CCP has done to Shen Yun, mind you, Americans in an American performing art troupe, is absolutely insane. I'll tell you what they did right after this quick break. Welcome back. Wouldn't be surprised if you just saw an ad for Shen Yun. Actually, we've been getting a lot of ads from Timu lately. That's if we're monetized at all. So according to this new report, there have been 130 documented incidents of harassment, sabotage, disinformation, and physical attacks by Chinese officials or their proxies targeting Shen Yun. Probably the craziest was a plot to get Shen Yun's tax-exempt status removed. According to the DOJ, Chinese agents tried to bribe the IRS to do that. They allegedly paid what they thought was an IRS agent $5,000 and promised as much as $50,000 if certain goals were met. And you know the plan went off without a hitch by the way I keep saying it was what they thought was an IRS agent. Turns out it was an undercover law enforcement officer, and the two were arrested in California last May. The FBI recorded the agents saying the bribes were paid for and directed by the Chinese government. So this wasn't just their own stupid idea. Now, the criminal complaint against them doesn't specifically name Shen Yun. It only describes it as an entity run and maintained by Falun Gong practitioners. But according to the Falun Dafa Info Center, Shen Yun was the entity they were targeting. So why is the CCP so desperate to silence Shen Yun? I mean, I know China before communism, but seriously, China is one of the largest militaries in the world. Why are they afraid of a dance troupe? I mean, if your friends don't dance, they're no friends of mine. The problem is Shen Yun strikes at the core of Chinese communist propaganda. Shen Yun says its mission is to revive traditional Chinese culture. 
The Chinese Communist Party has spent the last 70 plus years trying to destroy traditional Chinese culture. During the Cultural Revolution, it tried to get rid of what it called the Four Olds. Old ideas, old culture, old customs, and old habits. Thanks to its COVID response, it also got rid of countless of its fifth old, old people. And it especially tried to get rid of anything spiritual or religious. The Communist Party portrays itself as the inheritors of all Chinese history, and that there is no China without the Communist Party. It's pretty similar to how the Nazis subverted all of German culture to suit their own propaganda. The Shen Yun poses a threat to the CCP precisely because it exposes what the CCP has done to Chinese culture. And it's doing it through the arts, which the CCP knows will reach way more people than just taking out an ad in the newspaper. Wait, the CCP tried to destroy the old ways and change the culture after forcibly taking over? My God, they are Disney evil. That's public domain now, you can't sue me, Disney. Now the funny thing is, basically all of the CCP's attempts to destroy Shen Yun, well, it's basically the Streisand effect. Your attempts to censor something is so loud and over the top, you actually get more people interested than if you just kept quiet. Here's one of Shen Yun's MCs in an interview we did four years ago. So for example, in, in Australia, or performing in Canberra, very first year on tour, and after the show, we walk outside the theater and we see two parliament members standing there. And they, they say, actually, you know, we, we got a letter from the Chinese embassy saying, do not come see this show. And we're like, we hadn't heard of Shen Yun. What is this? This is interesting. Let's go check it out. And all the parliament members got the letter and a bunch of them were there. Just could have had their meetings there and everything. That wasn't the only time. Uh, Czech Republic, one time a TV station got a letter saying, do not interview Shen Yun, do not promote them. Like, Shen Yun? What's that? It's coming to town? Okay, we weren't planning on interviewing them. It's like, okay, well, now so we're going to call them. them. So then they right. got our dancer and our concert master went and did this interview in, in the Czech Republic. And they said, this is the Czech Republic. Maybe this is how you do things in China. Here we decide who and who will not be in our show, who and who will not be on stage. And uh, we're very glad to have you and good luck with your performance. And this is really the phenomenon worldwide. It's kind of like free advertising. Man, I wish the CCP would start telling everyone to not watch this channel. Because right now, the only evil China loyal entity trying to suppress us it's YouTube. Now, it's time to show some love to the people who make this show possible. The China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. Fans who support the show on Patreon.com slash China Uncensored. As my way of thanks, I'll answer their questions at the end of these episodes. Today's question comes from... B. Hijmering. Thanks for your illuminating shows. Do you actually speak and read Chinese? And how come you know so much about this country? Thanks again. Well, thanks, B, and thanks for supporting the show so it's possible. So I do speak and read a little bit of Chinese, but since I've been locked out of the largest Chinese-speaking country in the world, it's getting pretty rusty. But I was always interested in Chinese culture growing up. I mean, I grew up with those old Shaw Brother Kung Fu films. But learning about the culture and history of China obviously brought me face to face with the Chinese Communist Party and what it's done to Chinese culture and history. That's one of the reasons I really appreciate what Shen Yun is doing. It's trying to bring back the culture I fell in love with. Thanks for your question and your support, B. And thank you for watching. Check out this video from my new channel, Gamers Unbeaten, and hit that orange Patreon button. You can help keep the lights on and the show going for as little as a dollar an episode, and you can set a monthly limit. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.